So welcome to a presentation on capital cost allowance. So first of all, what is capital cost allowance? As we know, depreciation as calculated according to IFRS is not a tax deductible expense. Rather, what CCA is, the capital cost allowance, is the tax equivalent of depreciation. So it allows, it uses rates that are prescribed by the Canada Revenue Agency and assets are grouped into classes. Each class has its own rate, which is prescribed. So examples of classes are automotive equipment or processing equipment at 30%, machinery 20%, bridge canals or buildings 4%. Now what the CCA does is it accelerates the depreciation in the early years as compared to straight line depreciation because they're taking a percentage off the remaining undepreciation undepreciated capital costs. So this, of course, is desirable for businesses from a tax perspective because they can write down more or write off more expenses, which saves them on taxes up front. So the straight line depreciation calculation would be the initial cost minus the salvage value divided by the number of years. So that would be the straight line uh, value. Now, most assets are not depreciated straight line for tax purposes. So what you do is you take the percentage given in the CCA table for the given asset class and you multiply that by the undepreciated that capital cost. So that's basically what's left after the previous year's depreciation over the from the start. And uh, there's a half year rule as well which used to be applicable for the year of acquisition. So as of 9, 2019, the accelerated first year rule applies. We'll be, we'll be looking at that. Now the half year rule basically meant that you could only depreciate half of the value of, your, um, of, of the uh, cost of your asset in the first year. So here's an example that shows the depreciation it will by the numbers, it's a accelerated method, which we're going to go into. But the point here is to see that uh, we're using an initial asset value of $100,000 and a CCA rate of 30% versus a straight line depreciation of 10 years. If we have straight line depreciation of over 10 years with a salvage value of zero, we you see that we've got each year you have $10,000 depreciation. That would be the straight line version. Now the CCA, you'd have in year one, actually, well, it says year zero, but it would be the first year. So the initial year, you'd have 45,000, and then it would go down uh, below 20,000. And already you can see that towards the end, it goes, it's lower than the 10,000 a year because much of the depreciation has already occurred in the first couple of years. So let's try it with some numbers. Claptrack Inc. purchases purchased $200,000 worth of equipment in 2019. These fall under the asset class eight with a CCA rate of 20%. So how much CCA will be claimed in the first four years from 2019 to 2022? And that's considering, of course, the accelerated first year rule because it's post 2019. Now before 2019, in the year of acquisition, only half uh, of the asset value could have been used as a basis for the CCA calculation. So that's the old half year rule. So in this example, the first year would be 20% times the 200,000 purchase price value times one half. So that would be 200,000 times half would be 100,000. So we could only do 20% on the 100,000. So the depreciation that would be charged for tax purposes, the CCA was 20,000. Then next, the next, then you'd have the remaining undepreciated value. We had two hundred thousand minus twenty thousand. We would have one hundred and eighty thousand uh, dollars left on the undepreciated capital cost. And then yet next years would use the twenty percent on the remaining amounts. So you'd have twenty percent times one hundred and eighty thousand, so thirty six thousand. The next year you would have an undepreciated capital cost of 180 minus 36. So that would have been 144,000. So you'd have 20% on the 144,000 and so on. But now 
the first year allows us for uh, to to depreciate at a higher amount, equal to one and a half times or 150 percent of the CCA rates to be depreciated for the first year only. So in our example, using this new rule, the first year would be 20 percent times 200,000 times 150 percent, or again 1.5. So that would be 200,000 times one and a half, 300,000 times 20 percent. So we'd have 60,000 that we would be able to depreciate in the first year. The next years would simply use again the 20% on the remaining undepreciated amounts. So after the first year you could see 20 200,000 minus 60,000 would be the undepreciated amount. So let's look at the numbers. You have um, again the ending fixed asset equals the beginning fixed assets minus CCA. And the CCA is 20% times the beginning fixed asset. That would be true for every year except the first year. In the first year, you have the 150% here. So in this case, again, we have the 60,000 as calculated here. The 60,000 would go as the CCA. We subtract the difference. We have the ending fixed asset amount or the ending undepreciated capital cost. That becomes here the fixed asset for the beginning of the year or the undepreciated capital cost of the beginning of year two. Now you calculate 20% times that. So from here on in, you'll be using just the simple straightforward equation here with the 20% times the beginning amount. So that's 28,000. That goes here. And again, we would subtract that to end up with the ending value for the year. That becomes the beginning value for the following year. We'll do the same again, 22,400. And again, so you see we're doing, we do this on and on. So 17,920 would be the amount that goes in here. We subtract and then we end up with 71,680. And that's how we would end with four after four years. This is an overview just of the various classes and rates. They would probably change once in a not so commonly. It would be more like a rare time. Every once in a rare while it'll change perhaps. Um, but you see the different classes and the rates. So that was quick and hopefully uh, insightful view towards the capital cost allowance for Canadian tax purposes and as well as the undepreciated capital cost, an overview of depreciation for tax purposes. Thank you for your attention.